Before the video, I would like to point out that I am extremely grateful for my experience. I did not intend to sound like complaining with what I have. I am extremely thankful to have the opportunity to live in this beautiful city. Thank you. I do have a lot of good memories and bad memories of high school. I think the Korean education system kind of makes us study for exams, like prepare for exams instead of actually studying and trying to learn knowledge. All I really remember about my senior year is just studying for exams and applying for college. So there really wasn't anything that I learned academically. It was more geared towards just trying to score better on the Korean SAT exam and getting into a good college. So um, a little more background information about the high school that I attended. I went to a private school. It's a foreign language high school and foreign language high schools are a sort of a preparatory school. <laughs> <laughs> the special thing about foreign language high school is that you get to choose a foreign language as your major. I was an English major and I was minoring in Japanese. So in our freshman year, we have six hours of English and eight hours of Japanese per week. Second year, we have 12 hours of English and four hours of Japanese. In our senior year, we have 11 hours of English and four hours of Japanese per week. I was really able to improve a lot of my English and Japanese, so I do think that it was a great experience for me. Overall, studying foreign languages was really fun, and I do not regret coming here. But it was stressful because I had to compete. Um, everyone was so good. I always felt that I was good in English and Japanese because that's how I was able to apply to this foreign language high school in the first place. But discovering that there are actually a ton of smarter people than me, that was a bit stressful for me as a 16 year old coming here that was a bit sad a quick crash course on the grading system of high schools in korea so how is your gpa calculated the highest gpa that you can get is a 1.0 and the lowest you can get is a 9.0 and you get your gpa by how high you rank not your test scores. You could get like a 99% in all of your subjects, but if everyone else scores like 100, then you have like a 9.0 GPA because everyone else did so good. Because of that system, I was always scared to look at my report card. For every single exam, I was given a report card with not just my test score, not just my grade, but my ranking, school ranking. Our school isn't that big, so we have 280 students average per year, and that means that you have a ranking of how high you scored among those 280 students. So for example, if I had like a perfect score and I was ranked number one, then I would have one on my report card. But if I had the worst score, then I would have 280 out of 280. And seeing that ranking for every single subject, every single test, you are able to know what percentage that you were in and that was just too much stress for, for me. In the classroom when you're not in exam periods or stuff you guys are like all friends like I was really close with my friends in high school with the people in my class but then when you look at your report card you just realize oh this is all about competition because everyone is so competitive everyone wants to score higher. I remember in my second year, I went to my homeroom teacher and we talked about how we could improve my grades. And she kept telling me, if you work harder, you will be able to rank higher in your class, which is good for me because I'll be able to do higher, get a better GPA, probably be able to apply to a college that I want to in the future. But then the thing is, if I rank higher the next exam, that means my friends, my classmates that are like sitting next to me, like some of them will have to go lower and that logic just didn't make sense to me. Like, why will we have to do this? I mean, we're still teenagers. I mean, we should be searching for our goals. We should be trying to find what we truly love and what our passions are. But instead of that, we're just pushed to be better than everyone else. But everyone else is also trying to be better than you. 
나 진짜 기억이 안 나서 물어봐야 돼. <웃음> 아 맞아 여기서 밥 먹고 나와서 숙사 하는 거. High school was good in some ways because it helped me figure out what I really wanted to do in the future, like what my true dream was. I've talked this in another video before, but in high school I joined a filmmaking club and that was life-changing for me. At first, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to join because in middle school, I was interested more into just like video making vaguely, so I didn't really know if I wanted to do film because that's like a whole new genre. But I really discovered myself joining that team. In my second year, I was a cinematographer and that feeling was sensational. Once we finished filming and editing, we had a school screening day where the whole school were all kind of like forced to watch our movie because we like played it in the monitors in our classroom and most of the students would actually watch the movie because they didn't want to study because if they didn't watch the movie they would like have to study and like who wants to do that when you like have a movie playing in front of you and people actually reacted like my classmates actually like reacted when there was like they had emotion they felt that emotion it was kind of like a thriller slash horror movie so it was a bit scary and like my friends were scared like legit scared and i mean it wasn't that scary but like i mean it's not that like i needed a validation or anything but then it really proved that i loved how my friends were able to react to something i created and knowing that the screen that they're watching right now is something that i shot with my own hands holding the camera like watching through that frame the same frame that i filmed that was surreal that was a surreal experience that that i know if i had not had that experience i would not be able to get that feeling it's just life-changing so I knew for sure that I wanted to work in the entertainment business because I wanted to make other people happy. Thank you high school for making me realize that. And for another part in high school, your creative side is really suppressed because I remember that I had so much that I wanted to express. In senior year, after I knew that I wanted to achieve filmmaking or like work in the entertainment business, I was so sure that I wanted to make videos in the future that I had so many ideas inside of me. Like I was craving to express those things inside of me. I was like, I'm gonna make a YouTube channel. I'm gonna make videos. But not being able to do that because people tell you, oh, you can do that stuff when you go into college. And I'm like, I don't want to wait until I get into college. I want to start right now because I have so many ideas inside of me. But then teachers tell me, you know what, you're in high school. Just wait, wait till you get accepted to your dream college or whatever. So focus on your grades right now. I am not going to focus on my grades right now, okay? I want to express my creative side. And actually, because my creativity was so suppressed so much, I think once, oh my god, and actually partially that was good for me but because since I had so much stored inside of me, once I got the chance to you know just grab a camera, start recording, I was able to really explode. I have like a bunch of idea books. I could do this, I could do that. And there's like music video ideas, there's like film ideas, there's just like random YouTube video ideas. and. Um, I do think that suppression did kind of help me when I'm like expressing myself, if that makes sense. But anyways, now I'm able to do whatever I want to do whenever I want to, so um, that's good. <laughs>